Welcome to Organizational Behavior Management 280 uh, offered by Harper College Online. My name is Dr. George Machaki. Well, this week uh, we're going to week three. Uh, what I'll do first is do a real quick overview uh, of what you did last week. And if I look at last week, I think everyone did pretty good. You provided me, uh, what do you call it, with your... Uh, uh, research topic. We all have our topics identified. You did very well within the forums. I know I have one or two students. It's a good size class. Uh, nice class. I think 10 to 15. I have a couple of students who have uh, not done the forums, but they have done the connect homework, but uh, are not active in the forum. There's no way you're going to pass this course without the forum. The forums are graded. The forums are replaced the lectures. The forums are required for this class to get a passing grade uh, on an online class. Remember the forum. Yeah, I'm not going to go over it over and over. I've been over it uh, many times, but every time with the forums, I've always had the rubrics. This week, you're going to have two forms, a minor and a major one. The major one, you have to reply uh, three times on three different days to three different students uh, each time. Uh, look at this as a network and improving your uh, uh, virtual communication or written communication uh, on an, on, uh, in a virtual office setting. Okay, so uh, we're doing good. You've got to connect. Make sure, look, you're in here. Make sure you uh, take a look at the research paper. It tells you if those who haven't got your topic, tells you everything you need in there. Uh, a look at your weekly announcement. We're going to go in there. I got, uh, uh, what do you call it, the discussion. The library, for those who are looking for research uh, information, the way I set up, you click on there, and I already have a link set up a lot of things to the library, so that should work out real well for you. The other thing is that I want you to look, make sure you start using the concept map. The concept maps, uh, print them out, and then when you're reading the chapters, make your notes because you'll do very well. The only thing different this week that's changed, let's go into this weekly uh, uh, module. So we're going to be going into week three. And if I look at week three, we're going to be covering chapter six, seven, and eight. And they, uh, and I'll flip on that in a second. And it's worth 85 points you have today. So let's see what we have in here for. First week, always go into your overview. Print this out. Tells you what it's going to need. You're going to have readings, chapter six on motivation, needs job design, intrinsic motivation, job satisfaction, uh, chapter seven, motivation, Equity theory, goal setting, almost sounds like what you've already covered in Management 111 that was a, re, a prerequisite organization's uh, introduction to business organizations. This whole course, this whole organizational behavior, you are studying company's culture. How a company behaves, how a company brings in people. Now I have a certain culture. I have a certain type of an individual that works for my organization. What are you going to do? How am I going to motivate this individual? If I'm working someone in the assembly line, he or she's motivated by piecework or by time off. If I'm working with someone that's uh, an engineer or I'm working with someone that's strictly sales, I have to have different motivational techniques, ideas how to motivate that individual. From a company's perspective, this, these different motivational ideas and techniques uh, are developed within a company to stimulate the individual to keep him or her happy, to help him or her from uh, not leaving the company, for growing within the company, and still uh, uh, moving the company forward and motivate that individual other than pay. When you look at your forums, you will be talking about intrinsic uh, uh, motivation and not intrinsic. Okay, so you're going to have uh, your reading. So this is the chapter, the last uh, chapter, chapter 8. And remember, I'm trying to get everything up front because some people, uh, uh, I'm going to try to keep this... Um, uh, uh, clip uh, under 20 minutes. That's my goal. Sometimes I don't succeed because I want you to know what's going on. Now you're going to have two little different. You're still going to have to connect, but I'm going to give you two. Uh, uh, you're going to have two blackboard quizzes. A uh, little different to connect. I go into them. You have your form and your assessments. Uh, you have no assessments this week, but you have uh, general information and in the quizzes. So read that. Okay. So now we're going to go back to weekly module. Let's go. Uh, go into. Uh, let's see. We're into week uh, three. I'm going to go in. And you're already looking at the YouTube. Uh, let's go into the two forms. You have two forms. The first one is your main form. Remember the main form. You have to do the form. You have to log in. The first post has to be by Tuesday midnight. You could do it by Monday and then have your second post by Tuesday and your third post by Thursday or something like that if that works out well for you. Remember, you can post anytime during the day you log in. What always amazes me, you log in 
and you do it in a post. I'm not saying your first one, there's no one else in there, but you log in maybe like on Tuesday and there's other posts, and you do your post, but you don't respond to anybody else. You're already in the system, whether you're using your smartphone or something else, respond, just like you would be doing with your Facebook, your Twitter, or at work. So you're going to have it. Now this one, when you're looking at the motivational uh, thing, uh, uh, what you're going to do, if you're not, uh, here's what you want. You have to think of a key employee, where you're working at, or you may be the key employee. If you look at your manager, or if I'm working in a restaurant, if I'm working in sales, what motivates me as an employee, any employee that you know? Think of an employee. So you have to look at a key employee, and uh, remember, all forms end by Saturday known. So you have to have all your posts during the week, Saturday before known as some, some of the posts is late Friday midnight, you still be able to read them and respond. That should not be your last post. You should already by Saturday already have your nine to ten posts already done within the week. Remember, three different days, and each day you have three or more students to respond to. This is what you would be required in work. This is how you, I know you're learning. This is how I know you're attending an online course, because you are basically part of this team, this virtual team, and you're working. So now, if you're not working but a student use a team that you were on in school or how would you motivate students online if you were the instructor. Start using concepts from the vocabulary that you've learned. Part of the thing is if you're looking at the rubrics, the last rubric, last week when you looked at the rubrics, it was your final rubric. It gave you points for uh, uh, for um, logging in on time, and now I'm looking at many of you did very well. You respond to my forms, you did excellent. But then when you respond to other uh, students, you you know, once in a while you can have a hey, how you doing? I'm not giving you any credit for those. You're doing fine. I want hey, you're doing fine, George. But when you look at motivation, hey, I think that's a good idea. Did you consider this? Or hey, I like that idea. Could you expand on it? That's how you uh, uh, increase your uh, 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 points within the form. Look, forms are very easy points. They're 20 easy points. Points. And you know, you, know, uh, you just gotta log in and talk to people. In the business, you gotta talk to people face to face, or you have to talk to them uh, online. You just so remember, in the form, always use the first name. List four recommendations you plan to submit to the leadership because this is an organizational plan. So you're looking at the next level. You're a, as a middle manager or first line supervisor, and you're presenting this to the company to change company policies or to HR. That's what the organizational culture is looking. The same thing you've learned as supervision, management management or introduction to business that I teach or other classes but now I'm looking at the uh, at the next level and uh, you know uh, uh, I'm motivating one uh, one class of key employees you could have one uh, one or two you know so you have one form say here's the uh, uh, what I'm looking at my key employee would be a waiter my key employee would be a manager uh, whatever in the subject area so many people that may have the same or interest in that to come in and respond to you. Look, if you post to someone and they don't respond, that's fine. Respond to somebody else. I'm looking at it. You're making an interaction. Okay? Some people will get to you. If you start posting earlier, you communicate, you uh, create that dialogue. Okay? Enlist your occupation if you were a manager and why you were selected. It could be for your management or key who who are needed to function in your operation. Okay? Uh, list of motivational tools uh, for future uh, as the organization grows and a position will be filled with new employees. After you post it, you're read others and give them your feedback on a motivational plan or suggest offer suggestions to them. Remember to post your first post by Tuesday and two other days uh, to three uh, the three or more students. Remember, this exercise helps you solidify this week's uh, readings and gets you to think. So we're already done with the graded form. Now that's one form, so I'm going to go back now. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my forms and if I'm looking on here and now I'm going to go back to now that's your major form. You have to do all that communication, and that's where you're going to get your 20 points and look at your uh, feedback. The other form you have on this one is going to be your water uh, cooler form. Now, your water cooler form is going to be real quick. So go in there and just five questions, and you say, yes, I agree with this. No, I don't. I have no questions or anything else, and you should be okay. So now going back, so we've got the forms done. Now the next thing what you have to look is on your Blackboard quizzes. You have your connect. You've got to regularly connect. What I've changed this week, instead of connect, just according to syllabi, you're going to be doing Blackboard quizzes. The Blackboard quizzes are the same format, same setup. So when you do your final exam, the only difference with the Blackboard quizzes is that I allowed you to do it two times, like I did with the Connect, but it's a different program. So remember, you do the things, you go backwards and forward, but once you hit Submit, it's going to give you your grades. And then if you don't like the grade you receive, you could go back and you could take it over again. Now this is a little different than a Connect where you have all time. This, the uh, quizzes are set up 
for, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, an hour and a half or two hours. They give you two hours the first time. So you have more than enough time to look at it and study it, but at least it's a little different than the McGraw Hill Connect uh, 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 presentations or homework you're doing. So you have one that's worth 20 points. You're going to have 15 multiple choice questions, and each one is worth a one and a, a, a 33 percent or something like that. All right. So the uh, 15 questions. Answer them, you do well. If you didn't like the score, you could take it back again. Some of the questions are going to change. It comes out of a test bank of, I think, 40 questions. That's the whole thing, is to see how much you learn. Read it, take the quiz. Now, the next quiz in Chapter 7 is also worth 20 points, but this one's to prepare you for an uh, uh, in case you have some short answers. So there's, uh, I think, 15 short uh, questions, and you basically will be required to respond to uh, five of them. And the system will, will do it. So you'll have one question, and then you'll write your uh, comments within uh, uh, the exam, and then you'll go on to the next one. And look, it's not a one line, yes, no. I don't want the little substance. It's worth four points. It's a short uh, essays. So it's just make sure you uh, 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 know how to write and take these types of exams. If you would be taking another online class and they are utilizing Blackboard instead of uh, the Connect uh, software and they make you do short answers or in the final exam, since I don't create the final, the fundamental final, I could have some short answers in there. I could have some multiple choice. So this way, when you get to the final, you're prepared. Okay, so we're all set with that one. And let's see, uh, I'm back in here. So I've got the quiz of the final, the blackboard, and you still have your regular connect, remember, for chapter eight. And this is a, a normal connect. I think there's a video, there's an assessment. And that one you can do as many times as you want. Uh, uh, you know, you got two tries on that. I mean, not as many times, two tries as you, uh, uh, two tries, but each time you, uh, uh, you try it, uh, uh, there's no time limit on that. Uh, it's just a due date that when it ends up. Okay, so that takes care of our Connect homework. Now, let's see where we're going to go. We're going to go now into um, a real quick uh, lecture. So if I'm looking at the lecture, always go through the mind maps. You know, you also have your PowerPoints. I have your uh, PowerPoints in here, uh, someplace in here. PowerPoint, make sure you check your grades. Your grades are in there. You, you know what I mean? If I look at my grades, you go in there so you know uh, it, it's always current. You know exactly how many points you have. If there's any errors with the grades, some students have told me something to work out, email me and I'll respond to you. Are we good? Okay. So this week we're going to do on chapters, uh, uh, what do you call it, 6, 7, and 8. So go on to chapter 6 and here's everything you have. You have your integrated model. You have Maslow. Is there a, 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 what do you call it, Maslow? If I look at it, let me zoom it up a little. Uh, Maslow is the same thing you had, you know, with the hierarchy, what goes up comes down, and you've already been exposed with this for Management 111, McLean's uh, needs of things, needs for achievements, needs for power. Look at these when you're responding to how you motivate employees, because you have to use concepts from this, from all these chapters, some vocabulary into your uh, uh, response to me. That's all I know. Look at the job design and look at the job design uh, uh, for the whole company. So you're looking at, so um, uh, from an organizational thing, you're looking at the job design is going to meet the culture within the, uh, the employees that are coming in. Mechanistic approach, remember, when you look at mechanistic and something, again, this building on that, what you've learned from previous chapters, there's two types of approaches to organization. One is mechanistic, it's bureaucratic, it's like a robot machine, it does it very inflexible. The other one is organic. An organic one is like a flower to justice. So make sure you know that. You look at Herzberger, Herzberger had two things. He looked at the job content. So if I'm looking at any kind of questions you have in Herzberger, he's looking at the job. He's looking at hygiene factors. Hygiene factors are nice, but they're not necessarily motivators. Make sure you know what a hygiene factor is. Make sure you know the motivators. Motivators from Maslow is the intrinsic. Everything inside. I, if I feel good about the job, if I feel challenged about the job, those are inside. And how do I get that person knowing to the job, knowing the culture, knowing how that person thinks, and knowing how the triggers I need, that's basically what Herzberg is saying. And those are really motivated. Look at job uh, characteristics. You talk about intrinsic, extrinsic. Look at job uh, crafting. How do I change the job? Remember, from an organizational culture, part of the motivation is the job is designed for the person working on the job that he or she is not bored, they're motivated, and they're working for it. Look at cultivating employee engagement. How do I get people to... Uh, 
think of the job, how do I get their input when in the job, how do I get communication so they feel that they're part of the job, they're just not a number, they are a, a, a good contributor within the organization. And then the causes for job to, uh, satisfaction is fulfillment, discrepancies, uh, value, you know, I'm always looking at the value. Some jobs, it's hard to find a value. If I'm cleaning the floors and everything else, you may say, what kind of value is that? You have to have the place uh, looking good. So people don't trip. Customers coming in, they say, hey, uh, it looks very clean. If I'm in a store, if a restaurant, cleanliness is a big thing. If it thinks I see bugs or something coming around, that, that value, if it's not there, if I don't feel that uh, the atmosphere, the organization, the atmosphere where I'm working at, that has some value. That's how I would basically call uh, tell a person, hey, we need you for that reason, okay? And then, uh, uh, what do you call it? So that basically, uh, correlation job satisfaction, organizational commitment to the employee, uh, organization citizen behavior. You are part of the team, you're part of the organization, just like you are on this online class. It's online, but you're a virtual, you know, you, you hear me call you virtual uh, classmates, virtual students, virtual team members, no different than you're a team member at work, but each team is part of a larger team, and the larger team ends up being the culture of your organization, okay? Job involvement, and then the whole thing about motivation, and the other chapter is just turnover call. If somebody doesn't like, is not motivated, they're not happy, I have to either let them go, or they leave because they're bored, they don't see any advancement, and I have to bring a new person to train that person, and bring them back in, not only uh, the training cost, the uh, relationship, Relationships I lose with my clients, relationships I lose with my team. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now I'm going to go into instead. So remember, so all these other pluses, you add in everything that you need. Uh, what any of the pluses, that's why you're reading and writing, print this out and you add. It's like an outline so when you're doing your presentation and when you're doing your forms, you could use this and say, hey, I could throw this in. Now you understand. All this makes sense. So, But now I'm going to go with the software. And the software I'm using mind map, so now I'm going to go into chapter 7. If I look at this, it's a little different. It's the same thing you have. You only have the uh, second tier, but I have it a little different. The equity theory. All it tells me, negative equity is uh, and positive equity. Let's look at this. I'll move this over here. Negative equity, comparison to which another person received greater outcomes for similar input. If I think somebody else got more than I did and we did the same thing, hey, that's not fair. Why did they get paid more? Positive in, uh, in equity. Comparison, another person received lesser uh, outcomes for similar input. I put it in more, but uh, um, uh, I have less outcome, and then I'm being rewarded for the less. Remember, the whole thing when you're looking at this chapter, read it through, is this perceived inequity. It's what I perceive. So I have to make sure that I'm always reinforcing my rewards, reinforcing how a person gets a reward, why a person gets uh, 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 recognition. All that has to do is that a person takes care of all this uh, negativeness. All my policies, my procedures, my rewards, uh, from a company perspective, the processes I have input is what's going to make it uh, 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 meaningful to the, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, to the employees, all employees. Okay, now room service. Expectancy is instrumental, balance, value of the work. Look at it now. We look at rewards. What do I do? What's my expected reward? And then I look at, when I look at equity theory, how much I put in to make sure is that reward worth it. If the reward is minor, what the heck to do it? When I took typing or keyboarding, what they call now, I can never really mess up with the numbers. I go up and the numbers threw me off. The numbers were only worth 5% of my total grade and it messed up my whole uh, typing uh, 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 what it got, uh, uh, a pattern or flow. So I never learned uh, numbers. Because I figured, hey, the 5%, if I could get 100% correct on my keyboard and I missed 5%, fine, no big deal. I still could get my A, still could get my B, still pass my class. So when you're looking at the equity theory, what's the reward? How much input and how much effort I put into it depends on the reward. Okay, so that takes care of room theory, uh, manager's implementation, look at the table, works out well. The other one is pre, uh, prerequisite linking performance to dollars. This is tough. Look at that. The book has a real good uh, thing. Look at goals. Management by objective. Every company is managed. I have to sit down. With, you know, if I'm an hourly worker, my objectives are already predetermined by my union, contract, by my contractual agreement with the company. That's an HR factor. But it depends how the company sets up those uh, rewards. My management, that means I'm a salary worker. I may not be a manager, but I'm a support. Remember, I'm a line or a staff individual. 
manage I sit down with each one and I set up goals with that individual to make sure they attain. The whole thing you're going to look at this whole chapter on chapter uh, management and everything else. I have to be able to attain the goals. Otherwise, it don't make no. Uh, the, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, the last chapter, chapter eight, is when you look at feedback. There's two types of feedback. When I look at instrumental feedback, clarifies roles. New employee, I have to be very instrumental. So it's not the feedback telling you you don't know anything. For lack of a better word, like in this class, the first week I basically did a lot of hand holding. The second week I was kind of a little bit more. This third week we're up and running. You should already have the learning curve. If you don't know it, I got enough YouTube. Click it, watch them, do them. You should be fine. Week four, five, six, and seven, very little. We're going to go right into the subject. Here's what you need to do. Here's what you do. Because now all my homework and points, everything else is on the motivational. You do the homework, you get the points. You do the uh, 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 forms, you get the points. You do the uh, 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 quizzes, you get the points. You do the McGraw, he'll connect, you get the points. You see what I'm talking about? So now it's our motivation. If you don't get them done by the week's end, you don't do exactly what the uh, uh, rules are, like turning in something like you would for a rebate, you don't do all this, you don't, you don't get the maximum point. It's not fair for those who do all the work and uh, get all the points. You see how, the, in the feedback, your grades, you know every week where you're at. You know in the forms, here's why, why did I not get, uh, I only got eight points instead of, uh, what do you call it, the 20 point. Because, you know, the, I was very generous with the forms, because this was last week was the first graded Form. This week, the forms, if you know, and, I, and I'm tying in this chapter with the feedback. Yeah. This week, with the rubrics, you already know what the forms are. There's no question. I'm going to be very uh, specific. You don't respond to the three people. You don't do this. You could give me 60 posts all on the last day. You're only going to get eight points uh, out of 20. Because you have to to respond within the week. Part of the grading, part of being in work, you have to do certain things at a certain time. You have to follow a certain kind of protocol. I'm teaching you emotional intelligence. I'm teaching you social skills. I'm teaching you all the skills. Not only you're learning about the subject matter, you're learning how to take this knowledge and able to implement it in, in uh, work. So you can see how I'm doing with this course with the feedback. Non-traditional feedback 360. At the end of this course, you'll do an assessment on me as an instructor. And you're just saying, hey, what I liked about the class, was he prepared, did I learn something, was it a blow-off class, or was it an intense class, was the instructor fair, and you know, sometimes you may not like everything that I do, but you have to answer the questions in management. Here's the question, here's the feedback, so you'll have this uh, different rating, remember, this is all set up, when a company and a manager, when you take management, or you take supervision, or what happens, how you reward, all this is done in this kind of a structure, in an organizational culture, working with HR, working with management, working everything else, this is what this thing, so these are all policies and everything else. You're looking at this from a sec higher level than you're used to in most classes because this is an organizational behavior. How do I set up the processes? How do I set up the reward system? How do I set up the feedback so the, the, the employees, just like I do the feedback, you as a student know exactly where you need the improvement. You will know exactly how I'm grading. So when you go forward, you know the rules of the game, for lack of a better word. And every team, every activity you're doing, will have different rules, but they'll be tied in, all coming up to the major goal of your organization, which is improvement in quality, which is customer service, whatever, okay? So now see, let me move this over a little here, like this, the other one, why feedback fails, you know, I'm not here to punish you, I'm not here to embarrass you, a lot of times in the forums I say, hey, make sure you respond to somebody else, and then if you look in your grade, when you go in your grade book, you click on the grade, in the description, a lot of times I'll have different feedback, in the rubrics, I have feedback, what's missing, some of the rubrics, you look in and it says argumentative, or you didn't respond to other ones. So if I wasn't argumentative or I didn't do the spelling, I will put in a comment. It had nothing to do with the spelling because it's just kind of like generalized why the points uh, you received on that. So you have all this. You have bottom up, feed them up, why feedback fails, guidelines, be specific. You have my rubrics, you have everything else going forward. You have my YouTube. I can't be more specific in this class. You don't want to watch the YouTube. You want to do the forum. You have to do the forums, otherwise you're not really active in the class. So when it comes to midterm and they'll say, have you been active in the class? And if you're not doing any forums at all, I basically will say, no, the student has not been active. And they, I, I think uh, you'll get dropped out of the class. So the forum is required of this class. Plus it tells you what to look for. It helps you for, the, uh, uh, for your papers and everything else. And it gives you the feedback so you understand what's going on. You don't have a choice on that. The 
performance are a requirement of this course. Okay, now organization reward system, intrinsic, uh, intrinsic, you know, intrinsic financial material, this other company, intrinsic, psychic reward, self branding you get a promotion, you get a pat on the back, we train the management distribution, you know, all this are things, uh, the law of effect. You have scheduled performance, continuous, intermediate, fixed ratio, variable. All these different interview uh, intervals depends how the company sets up. When you read this, it's important. Remember, you finish this course, you're either going to be a manager, you're going to be a, 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 an HR, or you're going to be part of an organization, how to develop a new culture, or you open up your own business, or you're working for a small company as they're growing, you're developing the culture of that company. Remember, the company has a brand image. The company has uh, an image out to the public. They just had something with uh, 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 Dean, and she's a food person coming in, and she said some racial slurs. You know, you know we all say bad things. I'm not saying this right. But anyway, they were dropped. Because because of the brand image that the Food Network has, they don't want any kind of uh, 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 racist. Even though the person, you know, when you find out, they might have jumped the gun on this Dean, because the person just said it uh, uh, arbitrarily, you know, joking around. Somebody took out of content because she even had African Americans working with her in her shop and coming up to her defense says, No, she didn't mean it that way. It was taken out of content, but she got fired. You know, a lot of companies say, Branch, we, we, we take of it because it's a brand image, okay? And then positive reinforcement and then job shaping. Job shaping is how I shape the job to motivate the individual, to reward the individual, and to take the characteristics of that unique individual in that job because that's the type of person. If I'm an accountant, I like to look at the numbers. I'm very number, very detail, and if I'm a person that wants to be all over the world, uh, places like me, I'm in finance, I like to mess around, I understand the detail, I understand that, but that's not really the mode I like to work in, I'm in the more of a marketing, I like to uh, change, I like to be flexible, so that may not be my type of a job to be an accountant, nothing with accounting, remember, some accountants have to be very rigid and have to be very detailed because it's just a process of accounting. You have to put in the right ledger, the right uh, uh, journal, you have to file the right uh, 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 accounting, you know, uh, approved accounting procedure, whether you're in the United States or you're in an international organization. So that takes care of my, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, the, the three chapters. We're going to go back into Blackboard and again, so uh, uh, remember, Always going to the weekly assignment. We're in week uh, three. You have everything you uh, need to know in here. You're watching the YouTube. You got the forum, two forums, a major one. You have to be very active in the minor one. You just tell me yes, I agree, no, I don't agree, and then your connect assignment. The only thing that changed this time, you have regular quizzes in Blackboard. They're outside of the connect, but they're in the Blackboard. So when you take uh, the final, you're prepared, or you take another course with me that does not use connect or does not use Centrage, another software, but uh, uh, or another or instructor so you at least know how to work with that. Alright, so uh, you're doing well. Uh, the good group. We're beginning to work as a team. You're beginning to know a lot of people. Always go into the forums, call them by their first names, respond. Remember, you could do your posting at 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning in the day. At lunchtime, you have your smartphone, everything you do. So uh, you're doing well. The quiz is a little different. You got two tries. Only the, the two quizzes in Blackboard are time. You have an hour and a half to two hours. And once you submit it, you'll uh, get a score. And then you could go back and take it a second time. You may have different questions. Just out of a pool of 40, 30 questions. Because online, this way I don't have people cheating. And, you know, because you're looking, sorry, I've got this here. One uh, person does it. And then the other one's copied. So it's all open. It uh, works well on here. Uh, you've got your one connect assignment. You got the videos. Uh, it, you're doing well. We're meeting a lot of people. You're interacting very nicely in the forum. Remember, those who haven't been acting in the forum, get acting in the forum. And that's all of, uh, I have. I should be underneath my 20 minutes. Again, my name is Dr. George Machaki. This is Introduction to, I mean, Introduction to Business, sorry. Uh, this is Management 280, uh, Organizational Behavior, uh, offered online. Uh, this is a summer class. You're doing a lot of work. You're being exposed. You will learn. Most of my online students, I would take them up against any face-to-face uh, -face, uh, class. You know how to write. I know where they're coming from. You interact. You learn a lot out of this class. So uh, 
uh, th th that's it for now. And I'll see you uh, next week. Make sure you do the form. You do the connect homework. You do the the, the exams. Look again on uh, uh, what's required for your paper. All of your topics have been approved from last week. And now start working on them. Create a folder uh, so you could add stuff in. Uh, remember, once the forms closed on Saturday, you cannot access that form. So if there's anything else we're doing forward, we're talking about your subject area or something else that you uh, find important important that you could utilize for your own research paper here you basically uh, uh, open up a file remember the file has to be uh, the research paper will be presented to me in a word document and you'll have to have the headers that are required you know uh, the executive summary and basically uh, what do you call it your recommendations and you should do pretty good uh, uh, you know using the concepts and bold and everything else so again my name is Dr. George Machaki uh, uh, welcome to this uh, uh, week three, we're covering uh, three chapters, six, seven, and eight. Everything doing with motivation, intrinsic, uh, doing with feedback. Everything that you see in this course is designed exactly how what I'm teaching is what you learn in this class. And I'll see you in the forum. Remember, your first post has to be by Tuesday midnight, and then you have to post three other days. So again, I'll see you in the forum. Let's see, i got to find F10 to stop this recording.